like sometimes I be feeling like I'm spiritual and shit, but I never really focused and centered, you know what I'm saying, and got to my like past self to see what my past life was. I never I'm I'm scared but I'm not scared. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But oh uh, was any any of these moments this year, Charlemagne with Birdman? Buster? Which one? Onyx? Mm-hmm. That was in 2019, right? Mm-hmm. Last this year, year we got um. They ain't do too many interviews, bro. Yeah, this year we got Wyatt, Wyatt and Melly killing his man, right? Mm-hmm. That was last that was 2019. Year. All right, so this year we got the Jada and Will shit with August yes. Alsace. Yes. She got crazy with that. <laughs> yeah, that's where um. What she called it? Cena trying to make a comeback. What she called it? Red table talk? No, what she called this situation? Oh, the entanglement, entanglement. of the year. You heard? Yeah, you had that. You had that this year. Everybody was using that lingo. You had Tory Lanez. And um, Meg. No, no, before that, you had him with the um, quarantine, radio. quarantine radio. That was a big moment this year. That His was a big moment. Was that was dope. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The rise and fall of Tory Lanez. Jeez, please. The downfall of 2020 goes to Tory Lanez. She never sent that Jesus jet ski to get that. Nope. <laughs> nope. Oh, Definitely man. Shouldn't do that. Shout out uh, to Mr. Meth. Uh, Rowdy Rich. Rowdy Rich. Uh, Rowdy Rich definitely had. A heck of a year. We're going to get into the music again. Uh, one of those years, but um, Meg, then Meg and Tori got crazy. He shot allegedly. allegedly. Uh, everything Boosie did this year, but I'm coming to yeah, that was after Tori. <laughs> and um, that was basically it. Flip, I think, yeah, that was this year. Flip had all the bloods going crazy. When he did it, when he interviewed all the, um... That was 2020? Yeah, that was this year, bro. When he, when he interviewed all the homies? Yeah. Yeah, okay. bro. That, that had to be this year. Not for me. I don't think so. Year. I think that was 2019. This year was kind of light for them, but they still put out oh, content. This year that they had Johnny been, Blaze. That might have been the beginning of this year, bro. Maybe, because it's been a long, drawn-out year. Because these things have been talking crazy all summer. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I think it was this year. Shout out to Flip the Squid. Yeah, it was this year, bro. What? Yeah. I'm tripping. Mm-hmm. You are. Oh, Vlad definitely canceled himself. <sighs> yeah. What else they had this year? Who? Oh. Flip the script. The interview with uh, Dementio's son. That was um, a good one. Yeah. I, I watched Shaheen. Uh, Mayno. That one was cool. They uh, was joking a lot. Freaky Zeke. Yeah, King Tone. The Latin King. Mm-hmm. We had all the bloods up here. Again, all the smoke, like we said, they did their thing. They did the blood. I'm trying to get the month of the blood shoot. Um, even though we didn't have a lot of movies come out, we had a lot of streaming sites holding us down. Mm-hmm. Disney app held us down for a little bit in the beginning. I mean, just in the beginning. Power came to an end. What you thought about that? I was happy. <laughs> because it should have been ended. It should have ended after season three. Yeah, it... Or four. You could have pushed it to four. Insecure season three was dope as shit. Uh, That's what I'm watching. Netflix dropped a couple like documentaries and stuff. Tiger King had niggas going crazy, you know? Mm-hmm. I didn't watch King. that either. You watched LA Inc.? Nope. That was hard. What? Mm-hmm. About a cartoon? No, I didn't watch it. This nigga's crazy. 
Adam C.J. Walker shit. Of course. Yeah, that was back in January, bro. Okay. The Kevin Hart doc. Don't, don't fuck this up. Mm-hmm. That was cool. Dave Chappelle came back, of course. The Last Dance. That was something that held the sports world down. Yeah, while we was away. Yeah. That was something that held the sports world down. Uh, that When They See Us was this year, right? Mm. It might have been last year. That was last year. Yeah. That was last year. You want to know how I know? Pops got canceled this year, right? Yep. <laughs> Bad boy, what you want, what you gon', what you gon' do? Hey, we do the day. Issa Rae, everybody was killing the game this year. I ain't gonna lie, I like Black as Fuck on Netflix. You watched it? Yeah. I liked it. I fuck with it. Yeah. Um, when they see us, it's definitely 2019 because they play uh, Picture Me Rolling at the end. Nipsey shit at the end of the last episode. Nipsey got his Grammy this year. And that was right after Nipsey died. Because mm. when the track came on, I started crying. I was like, why the fuck they do that? What? <laughs> Which my nigga was here to see that? Why do you even <laughs> want me this shit was at the end? Oh, man, we me forever, every time. year gonna say rest in peace and shut out the bit. Yeah. And that shit been my ringtone since he was alive. That's why I never changed my ringtone. If you call me right now, son, that's what's gonna ring. Well, I'm gonna have to put my volume on. Picture me rolling. That was my, my fucking um, ringtone. I made my ringtone. Music. Probably like three weeks before he died. Music is life. MC is life, you heard? So when people call me, I got my body more and shit. Yeah, pitch me rolling. Pitch me rolling. That nigga still got some of the hardest balls out here. Jealous. Yeah. Music, 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 music this year. Chris Elder? Chris Elder, <laughs> man. That's it. <laughs> my chips are gone. Chris Elder, we got Jay Electronic with four way album this year. Jay Electronic is like JD. <laughs> um, Leg drop, Jack Harlow, uh, Freddie Gibbs dropped twice this year. Once. Once. Mm-hmm. He dropped twice last year, 2019. Oh, oh so he dropped close. Mm-hmm. He dropped two this year, bro. Right there. He dropped one album this year. Alfredo? Mm hmm. Did he drop something with the album? That is what album was. Nah, he dropped something else too. Did he? He ain't just dropped one album this year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you got Jada Kids, Ignatius, that was hard. Yeah, that was cool. Um, Nas, uh, King's Disease. Nas, Lil Baby, Rowdy Rich, Uzi, Royce the Five Nine, Janae Aiko, yeah, Royce the Five Nine, Joanna Lucas, Mozzie. Party next door weekend. Mm-hmm. Janae Aiko. Weekend shit was fire. Yeah, Kalani shit was fire. Kalani. Kalani. Kalani shit was fire. <laughs> yeah, what? Janae Aiko shit was fire. Yeah, I like that. Her. Weekend shit was fire. Her shit was hard. Mm-hmm. Chris Brown dropped like a thousand songs this year. He was up there with Griselda. You know what I like about her? What? Her voice. Make it women pussy butt. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> no, I love yeah. her. She nice too. Voice. Her word play is real too. That's what I'm talking about. In the way she sings. And she it. got that. Yeah. Um, she got that. What they call it? Uh, neo soul vibes. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, um, West Side Gun. How many projects he dropped? Two, three. 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 Benny dropped. One this year, third and four. Uh, Kanye dropped two. Four. Four. Okay. Excuse me, Kanye. I'm sorry. Uh, Tiana Taylor dropped the album. Uh, Fire. Brandy, Logic, Ti, Logic is tired. Look. Jeezy, Wale, Pop Smoke. My Pop mother. My Pop. boy so fifteen mil. Juice World dropped, 38 Spence dropped like 
You know what's crazy? I complain about music, right? Right. Young Thug, Gunner. I don't think I explained what I was saying correctly. Davies. Um, yeah, Davies. That was hard. I would think that people will put out more music. Of course, Mayno drop. Mayno and everything we've been talking about in the previous episodes. Mm -hmm. um, I thought more pe people would drop more music. Like, at least two projects. I would expect two projects from everyone. Yeah, because most of those were at least one project, and then they at least dropped them. Most of them dropped the deluxe, which could have been a second project. You know, you but know that could have been the EP. Yeah, yeah, it yeah but me going. so and there's some artists that I named that you heard on like features and stuff, but nobody really was killing them, like, the game like Griselda was this year. Nobody. They really killed the game this year. Yeah. So. If you don't know their names by the end of this year, but I, at least from listening to us and word of mouth telling your people, then I, no, I don't know. So I don't know what the fuck you're doing. You, you can't be listening to hip hop, bro. Word you listen. cannot be, because. Oh. You hear this in okay, some yeah, form yeah. or fashion. Before we get into that, we got so, to um, this. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of music came out, but I just expect more, especially when I'm seeing certain artists. Like Ransom, Ransom put out, I think, four projects. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like dope. All right, before we get into our, I guess, list for artists and albums or whatever, mm -hmm. let's get into giving the biggest shout out and the people that did hold us down that deserved their flowers for this quarantine. Timberland and Swiss Beats. We forgot to talk about Versus. Versus TV held us down. So, what you about to say about Versus? Um, it, it's amazing, man. It's amazing. It's crazy. Like, we wouldn't have this if this shit wasn't going on. You no, know, if we wasn't having the year we it was having. It wouldn't have sparked their... It wouldn't have sparked their mind. It wouldn't even have sat both them down long enough in two different places to be like, and you know even, what we can do? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They and then to been, even ask... Artists that's touring, right? Right, right. Ain't nobody doing it right, exactly. Yeah. Yo, y'all two, we can try to get to see it's easy right now. Get everybody, yo, we gonna y'all yeah. with, with it? Put y'all together. Cause this started hey, early in the quarantine. If y'all don't remember, it was most he had DJs facing each other. Who he faced? He went against Tim, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, and um, and that's when they started. Scott Storch went against. Manny Fresh. Manny Fresh. Smoked his fucking <laughs> Then you had Primo, Rizza. That was a little later, though. Okay. That was a what little later. Because you, yeah. you, know, you had Neo and um, uh, Austin. Dallas Austin. You had um, Sean Garrett. Sean Garrett. In the dream. In the dream. Um, somebody else was early though. You had a few. It was early a lot of early ones. Get then it started. There getting... was another DJ battle too. Scott Storch mm -hmm. and Manny Fresh. Reza Primo. No, but that was later. No, nah, that was in the early stages. Nah, too, it wasn't, bro. It was after. It was after the dream and all of them had their beers. Then we got the famous one, Teddy Riley and Babyface. <laughs> I'm just naming shit that we got. Um, 
Erica Badu and Jill Scott. Mm -hmm. Then, but the one that made it like I think the one that made it like oh shit was Nelly and Luda. You think so? Which one you think? Uh, I think that was the one when they cleaned it up and. I think it's two. Which one? I think it could be the Luda and Nelly one mm -hmm. because of the artist. Yeah. And the tracks that was played. But the format wasn't right yet. But when they did Fab and Jada. In the same room. And they put them in the DJs same room. together. And DJs, then they have to worry about One connections. Yeah. And right there. That's what set it off. Yeah. That's what set it the fuck off. So what's your top verses that you remember? What's your top verses? Um, Let's say five, six, whatever. Not in no particular order. Uh, of course, Snoop, Snoop and A Rex. Fire. Fab uh, and Jada. Fire. Um, damn, who else was it? Jeezy and Gucci. Jeezy and Gucci, of course. Bounty Killer and Beanie Man. Yes, that has to go in there. Rizzo and Primo. Rizzo and Primo, I enjoy listening to a lot. Um, Nelly and Luda. Nelly and Luda. It was cool. Jill Scott and Erica Badu? I love that. That one was hard. Uh, I want to say it's one of my favorites, but I loved it. Monica and Brandy. Monica and Brandy was good, too. I like that a lot. Yeah. They had some dope <laughs> ones. They had some bad ones, too, but some of the bad ones was fun to look at. Like, let's not forget about uh, 112 and Jagged Edge. Oh, man. Teddy Riley and Babyface. Oh, man. Critical. We of course we got the infamous cancel. Shanti and Keisha. You know uh, John Legend and Keisha Cole. No, Alicia I mean Keys. Alicia Keys. Nobody watched that. Ti ran from the smoke from Buster. Nobody watched John Legend and Alicia Keys. Oh, man, I did. I bet you did. T.I. Ran, ran from 50 and Buster. That shit only happened because that's Swiss wife. She's like, I want to do a piano battle, baby. Damn, like, and Jeezy. T.I. ran from like, everybody. A piano battle? She's like, yeah, I'll go with John. He's just holding every people. He's like, me and John. Me and John could do it. He was like, all right. I hope it continues when the world opens up. I hope these artists don't start getting bougie. I think they'll continue. I think they'll probably be able to do it bigger too. So let's see. All right. So don't. I guess not the not the body of work. Just give me the artists that you felt outworked people this year. I guess no particular order. What you want to do? Ten. I'm not doing ten because ten and ten niggas don't deserve it. Five. Yeah. You ready? Mm -hmm. Lee Lord. Okay. West Side Gun. Mm -hmm. Conway the Machine. Mm -hmm. Roddy Rich. No, Lil Baby. Excuse me. Lil Baby. And Ransom. I feel like they outworked everybody to where the point where I could even say ransom name in 2020. Mm -hmm. Nigga outworked everybody. I feel it. He had what? Four projects? Four. Four projects. I, I, I kind of listened to them. I kind of listened to them. I was just listening to them once before we started. All right, give me five R&B that you got. R&B? Let me just name five. R&B? This year? Weekend? Kalani, Brandy, oh, Tiana Taylor, Janelle Aiko. They wasn't good to be top five R and B projects this year. That's not R and B. What are they? I don't know, bro. What the fuck are they? <laughs> they not rapping. I don't know. I, shit don't be. I guess. Um, they singing, nigga. The weekend. Janae, her. You know. Um, I like Tiana Taylor shit. Hey, right, I'm gonna go with Conway. 
the Mashiach Makaila. 38 special. Okay. Because that's who I was listening to. Like, you listen to Fleego. Trust. Nigga, Flea got 12 projects. Flea got four. 38. I said Conway. One of those projects was special is a Flea Lord project. Rowdy. Rich. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I said Lil Baby because I knew he was going to have Rowdy. 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 But I wish it was going for it. Uh, I'll put Lil Baby in there, but. That's Rowdy. Um, I wasn't playing until Anderson made it in. I couldn't. I'm putting J.I. in my five because he dropped three projects Ooh, this me. year. And that's who I was listening to. Him. <clears throat> and probably Baby or Gibbs just because Alfredo was that hard. I feel you. Notice I ain't happy. You know, my six man was Uzi this year. <laughs> Notice I ain't have Benny in there. Like, um, I had advice. Benny in my 10, but because you put it down to 10, um, to 5, and he only had one project this year, and he continuously said that. He said, but I'm going to give y'all Burden of Proof, and Burden of Proof is good enough to get into a 10. Oh, yeah, it's in a 10. But, but I since want, you I said like five, 5, cause then, like Joe Button said, when you do 10, it discredits the main 5 that you think that you was listening to more than one time. Yeah, because then you want to put so somebody that's why, up. So that's why I got... J.I. in my shit. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Just because he was in my ear multiple times all his projects that he dropped this year. So, yeah. But then, that was a part of what I was going through in my life up and down. And, and, and then, these artists that I chose, it speaks to what I was complaining about where I would think in a year like this you would put out more projects. These are people that put out four, twelve, four, three yeah. projects. Like, yeah. it's this is, work. this is the 12th month of the year. That's why the hustle of the year will go to Rizal. Right. Like they just what's what's our last project, like, project was in October? He has three this year. Right. It's just now December. I mean, it's the end of December. But, yeah, that's how I feel. It's not about who was on the charts and who sold the most records. I don't look at it like that. I don't look at it like that. And people be like, Oh, it's quality or quantity. Not all the time, my nigga. Not all the time. If you put out some uh, a half-ass track and somebody put out four bangers, nigga, no. It ain't about quality over quantity. Because if that quantity is quality, then it matters. So shut the fuck up. Yeah, man. People be killing me with other people's philosophy. That doesn't make sense, and you don't even believe it. You just soak it up. If somebody continues to be punching you upside your fucking head, guess what? Your shit gonna lump up. 